Hello Linux fans, Rob here and coming up is a multi-part look at Deepin 15.5. I would say if you asked me to point to a commercial level version of a Linux operating system that Deepin 15.5 would be in that lineup. So we're going to take a look at some of the reasons why, so stay tuned. <music> So Deepin 15.5 has certainly uh, implemented enough changes to really get my attention. In fact, I'm really getting into seeing how nice the Deepin desktop has come along. Um, I want to try to keep these video segments a little shorter. I'm not going to ramble a lot, but I do want to point out the fact that um, if you've never looked at the Deepin um, OS or deep in Linux whatever they're calling it now its origins are from China and in the past in other videos I've had comments where people say oh it's from China I don't want to deal with it it may have you know spyware or whatever you know this is still an open source project and so I think there are enough eyes looking at this I think you frankly could say that about any Linux distribution that's coming from any country um, you know so just kind of wanted to throw that out and push that aside. I want to focus in here in this first video uh, on the application launcher. Now the last time I looked at Deepin, you had a choice of application launcher that did not involve this smaller window. Uh, you had categories in a full screen mode which we can still get to, so I'm going to launch there. And this was uh, kind of what the application launcher looked like the last time that I use deep and you could toggle on or off the categories here to the left uh, but you you could not shrink that down that I recall so I really like uh, the work that's been done here along the bottom you've got quick access to computer documents videos to your various folders um, and then you you could um, activate for shutdown reboot suspend lock or log out there uh, so I really like the um, the job here. Now you can also toggle the categories off here within the window. So if you want a, a cleaner appearance and you just want to go with uh, scrolling icons, you're set up to do that. I personally like the categories to quickly jump from one section to another. Now there are some things that are in place here at first glance you don't pick up on. Uh, until you start using the system. So if you've got an application that has been recently installed or recently upgraded, you're going to notice a blue dot beside the name. That's just to indicate that you've recently installed it or it, in, it has been recently updated. Um, the default office suite here is WPS Writer and so you'll notice a blue dot there as well. Um, so that is a very nice improvement to the Deepin desktop. It's quick, the search function is fast, so if we go VLC uh, you'll notice here that it, it launches up in the lineup with some of the other video related um, and some other software, but VLC certainly pulls up quickly. So nice improvement there. Uh, one other thing I'm going to go ahead and jump over to in this video is the Deepin store and there have been some improvements and refinements there and while things don't load as quickly um, as I would like and many of you I'm sure have had complaints about the Deepin store in the past um, it has been improved it does load faster and also things like the graphics have been improved as far as the clarity um, this is this is very well done and, and for many of you I'm sure it's too colorful uh, but you'll notice here so we're switching to a ranked category and you'll notice that loaded slow uh, part of that's the system that I have this running on it's it's an older system um, and and so part of it is that but um, there are certainly times like right now so you'll see the loading where things just are not pulling in and populating as quick as they are but once they do it's just so well done so I'm gonna hover over an image here and you'll see that we've got an option to install now had we installed this already you would see option would pop up there or if we click on something to install it so in this case let's go ahead and install telegram but before we do 
I'm going to click into Telegram, and here's what I love about this. You've got nice large images that will show you what the application looks like prior to installing. Now you'll notice again how slow that's loading, so that's my complaint here. But you've got lots of images here to choose from, and then you can zoom in on those images. But you've got much more than that. You've got a rating system in place here. We've got 62 ratings with uh, 29,000 downloads, over 29,000 downloads, uh, and then a short description of what the application is. And then at the bottom, you're going to have the comments or user reviews. So, so well done. And this is the case with, with everything that you click on. And then when you click Install, you'll get a nice animation here showing you that that is installing. Now if you want to come out of that and you're still searching around for additional software, if you hover over Telegram again, you'll see now that it shows installing. And these are the small details that you miss in other systems. Um, this tells me that the folks involved have an eye for detail because I'm starting to see that in many areas within Deepin 15.5 and and maybe in previous versions either I wasn't looking for those details as closely or they just weren't there but I'm really starting to pick up on the amount of work in smaller areas and you noticed a little tone there maybe you heard that in the video telling me and we've got a little pop-up a little slider that hey telegram is now installed and this changed to open so all of that combined it just makes for a very nice way to interact and install software within the operating system so all right well that's enough for these two areas and like I say this will be multi-part video on Deepin 15.5 I uh, hope you've enjoyed this as always thanks for watching